how to backup Windows 10 profile properly. So we're going to talk about that real quick. And the reason you want to do this is when you're re-imaging computer, meaning everything is being deleted on your computer and you want to save everything that's on the local computer. So if you go to your local C users, and then whatever you see in here, these are going to be local profiles, whether it's your own local profile. For example, this one is called Big Power, and that's what I would use to log into this computer. However, this profile is specifically dedicated to be an administrator local profile. So whenever I make changes, I use Big Power's permissions to, for example, install, update, or anything on the computer. Kobuman is the current one that I'm using right now. And this other one is default. Basically, if you go inside a default, for example, the default desktop, and if you were to create a shortcut in here and place it, for example, here it says, if I want to create a folder, here is that big power one that I just talked about. And it won't let me do this, create a new folder on desktop unless I have administrator privileges. And if I just hit enter, this folder is now going to appear to every new person that logs into this computer. So every new person by default who logs into this computer will have this folder inside of there as well. So if I go back to users and I look at public and I do the same thing, this basically is the place where all the shortcuts are placed immediately. So if I create a new folder in here, it's going to appear automatically to whoever is logged into that computer. So if I hit enter, the new folder will come up immediately. And if you look over here, and here it is, I'm just gonna drag it over. Here is that same folder. And to prove it to you, I'm just gonna move this down a little bit here. And watch this, I'm going to delete this folder. Right, and it's gone. You see how it disappeared from here. And that's what the public is. So this basically allows you to push new documents, folders, or anything you want to people who are already logged into that computer, already using it, and anybody who may have used it at some point. Now, the default one is whatever is created for the new users when they log in to the computer for the first time. So that folder, again, that I've created, and when it comes to default, it's only going to appear to the people who log into this computer for the first time. And they would be logging in with local profiles like this one. This is what I'm used, logged in right now as Kobuman. And of course, this one is reserved to be administrator. In a business environment, you may see a folder that is called administrator right here or whatever else that they use for that business. Now, to make a copy, what I suggest is, and if you're doing this manually, and I'm literally, you are about to create a new image and put it on the computer you're going to re erase everything that's on the computer install windows and all of that well this is what you would do basically you would uh, use what that what i call a back door right this is what i call a back door but it, what it is really is you're accessing a remote computer that's on the same network over the network and the, you could do this by just you know when you have windows explorer open like this just do a backslash backslash this emphasizes that you are using uh, that you're going over the network connection and then you can type in the name of the computer and here for example you can see that i already typed that in because i've accessed this other computer before and if i do this and i select this then i'm going to have access to this computer through the back door but if i do this and do and type in c or c dollar sign it's going to go to the root of C as long as it's allowed and set up by the computer. And what that happens is when you just go in, it's going to look just like as if you were backdoored into that C drive of that remote computer, right? So you're just accessing this other computer that you're going to re-image over the network and it's going to look just like this. C users, except this part of it, except this part of it here. Uh, is going to have the name of the computer before of it before it right it's going to have in, in before the c i'm sorry it's going to have it it's going to look like this actually here computer name now right? it's going to look something like this shared and this is basically will take you to the same place i'm looking at right now so in order to make a complete copy of a profile, and I recommend you do this instead of just going in and copying desktop and documents and favorites. So if I just go to Kobaman and I'll go to desktop, 
you know, I can copy all of these things that are in desktop folders. So instead of just picking desktop, you know, documents, you know, instead of doing this, right? Uh, what, what else? Uh, favorites, maybe? Instead of doing this, you know, right click copy or control C. Well, chances are there might be stuff in these other folders, right? There might be other stuff. So instead of you taking a chance, just do a copy. Control C or right click and copy and then copy it onto a, another computer. It could be the computer that you're using right now. So you can copy it on your own computer somewhere or on a network drive somewhere. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. It's just pick the one that's faster, right? And it's going to take a while to copy it depending on the size of it. And now you will have a full copy of it. Now you have to make sure that nobody is logged in currently to this computer because some of the stuff will be already in use by the operating system. So you will get errors. Let's say Kobuman is logged in right now and I start to copy his files and folders. You, on the other hand, on the other side, will get an error that says, oh, you can't copy this because this file is being used by the operating system, this and that. Well, what you want to make sure is that remote computer is rebooted first. This will, and make sure that nobody is using it, right? You know, but, but just make sure it's rebooted in case they stayed logged in, in case they stayed, all, stayed logged in, and then in case they are holding on, in case the operating system is holding on to the files uh, that you need to copy over. Of course, before you re-image the computer, check the root of C and make sure there are no other folders that the user may have accidentally created somehow. You know, just make sure there, there are no other things in here that kind of stand out. So, for example, if you see a folder in here, you know, that's called, you know, my backup, make sure you create a backup of that as well. You know, make sure you copy that as well. So, just be on a lookout on that before you start deleting everything else after you make a backup. So, that's kind of self-explanatory. And uh, when you reinstall the operating system on that computer, make sure that you or the user actually logs into the computer again and make sure that the, their local profile is created again just like this you know it's not going to be there after you re-image the computer right because that user has not in this case kobo man has not or never logged into that computer after it got re-imaged or reinstalled and everything else right so you have to do it once uh, in order to create this local profile folder and then you can go back in and then if they need stuff from desktop, documents, or favorites, then you can individually make copies from the copy from the backup that you've created. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's self-explanatory at this point.